Hello, my name is Anne Reed, and we are here to present our entry into the Social Distancing Play Festival. We are presenting The Closet by Steffi Rubin. Hello, my name is Dina Gallion, and Anne and I will be playing the roles of Caroline, the older sister, who is a married stay-at-home mom with three children. She's wearing mom clothes and ballerina flats. And I will be reading the part of Erin, the younger sister who is single, owns her own design studio. She's dressed in a high-end outfit and style shoes. So the synopsis of the show is that the designer Erin and her older sister, stay-at-home mom Caroline, have very little in common. They have eight years apart, two brothers sandwich in between them. Now it's hard to say that they even grew up in the same family, so a sister's night out is long overdue. But before they leave, Erin decides that Caroline absolutely needs to find the perfect pair of shoes to wear out for their evening. So since a shoe is never just a shoe, the conversation in Erin's enormous closet tackles subjects that the sisters have never dared discuss. Yes, ma'am. This sister's night out is way overdue. And a burger <laughs> and a beer is just what the doctor ordered. Should we take your car or mine? You mean the minivan? <laughs> uh, I'll drive. Oh, but first, you are coming with me. Oh, <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> uh, we're going to find you the perfect pair of shoes to go with whatever it is that you're wearing. Erin, I am perfectly happy with the ones I have on. You're killing me, Caroline. Come on, admit it. I got all the good taste genes in our family. Okay. How did you do that? Oh, whoa. Now, I know they're in here somewhere. I just saw them the other day. Maybe they're... Whoa! What? Whoa. Just, whoa! This closet! Ah, let's see. Uh, Gravani, Blahnik, Guccinelli. Um, maybe they're down here. <laughs> Aaron, how on earth did you end up with so many shoes? I bought them. One pair at a time. Two, occasionally three. But who needs this? Don't judge me, Caroline. <clears throat> I'm not judging. Oh, yes, you are. You're thinking, how can my idiot sister probably have this many pair of shoes? I didn't say that. You damn well did with your whoa and your body language and that mom expression on your face. <laughs> Who could possibly walk into this closet and not say, whoa? Me. Every day. Instead of, whoa, I say, with a Christian Louboutin kitten heels or the McQueen sling backs work better with that Roland Moray pencil skirt I just bought to go with my Burberry cashmere sweater. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. You know, not everything I say is meant to solicit your opinion. Isn't a big sister just a wee bit entitled to worry about what her little sister is throwing her money away on? People call it spending, Caroline. Stimulating the economy. Oh, you might want to try it sometime. You don't think I spend money? Mm, not really. <laughs> That's because you have no idea how expensive it is to have kids. Whenever I think there's a little something to put away toward a family vacation or a romantic weekend, I am required instead to fuel the economy of the orthodontist, the youth soccer league, or the kids department at Walmart. I spend plenty, just not on shoes. Sounds awful. Oh, it may not be as glamorous and trendy as... I get it. I get it. You live a prudent, sensible, pedestrian life while the prodigal sister purchases way too much footwear. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I show a little concern... Oh, sorry. 
was that concern? Uh, it turns into a dismissal of the career I have chosen. <gasps> oh. Oh, who could possibly dismiss the stimulating career of the stay-at-home mom? Hey, a stay-at-home mom raised you, me, Tyler, and Alex. And if she were still alive, I don't think she'd appreciate your contempt for the choice she made. She was very happy. Wait, did you say happy? Yes, why? Because I remember our mother as sad. Unfulfilled. <laughs> Not enough shoes for you? Not enough life for me. For her, a person whose potential was never realized, largely due to dad's archaic ideas about women and careers and her own lack of will to resist him, or us for that matter, spoiled little blood suckers that we were. Did you and I grow up in the same family? Well, technically, yes. But you know what they say, you can never step in the same river twice. Meaning? By the time I came along, they were a different mom and dad. Don't be ridiculous. People who had three kids, who keenly felt the pinch of living on a rather unspectacular income. It's the price of having a family. But the smart, talented woman who once had dare I say it, dreams, tossed them all out the window, decided that being tied down with an infant was something that she just had to do again and again and again and again. Are you saying there's something wrong with that? No. Then what? It's just not the only option for mom, for you, for me. Personally, I want more. Well, I can definitely see that. Now there's that old familiar sting of Caroline judgment. I wasn't the one judging our mother. That was you. And though it may not be much of a resume, mom's happiest moments were just being there for all of us. Recitals, graduations, track meets, report cards. <laughs> well, mine anyway. The mom I knew always seemed disappointed. The mom I knew kept her eyes on the things that mattered. The things besides shoes. Oh, she bought plenty of shoes, just not for herself. Oh, remember those black loafers with the god-awful white stitch thing? <laughs> oh, my. even I thought they were atrocious. <laughs> she wore them till all the threads unraveled and the soles gave out. <laughs> but she also had that one pair of kick-ass heels black dyed silk with that narrow little ankle strap her sexy mama's shoes oh i'd slip into her closet and walk around in them every chance i got I feel like i could take on the world she wore them to those dances at the armory yes oh, with that black dress that that's slightly off her shoulders and cinched waist skirt tapering below the knee and carrying grandma's beaded clutch and she'd hum. Mom? Yeah, she'd hum the way we were. She loved that song. I don't remember mom singing. I guess things got busy by the time you came along. Too busy for singing? Um, mom didn't mind. How do you know? Because I'm a mom. Oh, right. Look, every day it's something. Chip's soccer games, Emily's band practice, Jake's wrestling. Who has time for... Singing? Anything. Well, it just breaks my heart a little. For her, for you. If mom were here, she'd tell you it has its rewards. Maybe it's not the dream I started out with, but I think it's not quite as tragic as you seem to think. Look. Maybe I don't have wrestling and soccer and little lives to mold, but I have responsibilities, challenges, stress. And when I walk into work in a new pair of Jimmy Choo's, it makes me feel like I own the place. You do own the place. I know, but some days following the dream feels like an uphill challenge in the wrong pair of shoes. Erin, you've got a successful business. 
I have three works in progress that I pray every day will turn out. I know, just like you. No, like you. I hope these kids take the world with your courage, your drive, your determination. You do? Yeah. I'm so proud of my little sister. I guess mentioning that is probably also way overdue. And I know mom felt the same. How do you know that? Because I'm a mom. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> hey, you know, those wrestling matches of Jake's are actually kind of fun. Seriously? And you know you're always welcome to join us for soccer. Every Saturday morning. Though you might need a pair of flats or waterproof boots. <laughs> I just hate it when my stiletto is drilled down into that soccer field every time it rains. <laughs> I have a killer pair of aquatalias around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, killer rain boots. Sure. Why not? Ah! Oh, here's what I've been looking for. Lucky for you, we're both a size eight. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. Yes, they are. But we're only going down the road for a burger and a beer. Don't you think this is overkill? <laughs> Carpe diem, big sis. Every outing is another opportunity to show the world just how fine you are. They're perfect. How did you know? I'm a designer. It's what I do. And judging is what I do? I think we both got the judging gene. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these shoes, they kind of make me feel... Like you can take on the world? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't last one minute on the soccer field. <laughs> mm, but they might heat things up in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Mom ever wore those black strappy heels, you oh, know? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you realize you're never getting these back. I know, but it's a small price to pay. For what? Grabbing a burger and beer with my kick-ass big sister? Oh, come on! Let's show the world just how fine we are. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, Aaron? Yeah? Is there a purse that goes with these? 